First step, we just click virtualization station icon on the desktop. And you can see we don't have any virtual machines yet. So there are two ways to create virtual machine. First, we can create a new VM. Second, we can import the VM from PCs or from other NAS. So let's choose create VM. And you can see a template from system default, which can help us to choose the most common configuration options. But today I will just choose create custom VM. And then we'll just clear the VM name and give in single core and give it one gigabyte memory. So we don't really need to set out a VNC password. And then we, we can choose CD image such as ISO file, but today I will just choose HDD image and click the folder. I already put in the WinXP image on the NAS, so just choose WinXP image, then create. Click create. So here's the virtual machines has been created, WinXP. And the second way is import. That's create import. So there are three ways you can import NAS file. First, from PC or from NAS or from remote NAS. Today I will just choose from remote NAS. So just key in the IP address and username, password, then click connect. There's a window will pop out. It shows the remote NAS folder. And choose Win7. There's a Win7 VM files. Just click it and apply. Then click next. And here's the VM import setting. You can give it quad core or two gigabyte memory. So I just follow default. Then just click import. Import wing. 7 VN has been completed. And here's, we click VN list, VM info. So you can see we have Win XP and Win 7 on our VN list. 